at us British Superbike, the third race of the weekend here at Knock Hill, and almost a collision between Danny Buchan and Christian Inn as they come off the line. It's Tarrant McKenzie who leaps to the fore on the McCams Yamaha, quickly eclipsed by Rory Skinner. Through to second place slides the Vision Track Ducati of Christian Inn, fourth place for Peter Hickman on BMW. He gets alongside McKenzie up the hill, squeezes past as they drop down to turn one into third place. Danny Buchan hovering in fifth. Rory Skinner, still imperturbable at the front, leads the way for FS3 Kawasaki. But look at that big moment for Joe Francis in the background. Big slide there for Christian Iden as he clings onto that second place. Here comes Taron McKenzie attacking Daddy Buchan, retaking that fourth place from the tall Essex boy. And then Hickman moves through in front of Christian Iden. He is now the threat in second place. But not for long. Iden pushes his way through and sits up the BMW and also Danny Buchan comes through, there's a collision, they both survive it, Buchan has another goal and Taron McKenzie gets through at Clarks with a brilliant move Skinner still leads it for FS3 racing Kawasaki but the battle's going on behind, here comes Buchan, another huge move at Clarks, gets him back into third place and then he goes for it underneath Christian Iden into the hairpin Skinner's now been drawn back to them, suffering from a bit of arm pump. The 19-year-old finds that he's getting drawn back into their clutches. Aiden retakes second place brilliantly on the launch into turn one. But watch this late move by Danny Buchan. Squeezes through at the Scotsman's back into second place, and that punts Aiden back to an unlucky fourth. Skinner leading the way, but not for long. Buchan decides it's time to move, and again he makes that textbook move at Scott the Scotsman corner. And down goes the luckless Honda rider, Glenn Irwin. That brings out the red flags. And that means that Danny Buchan, having just punted his way through at Clark's, takes victory. He's done the double here at Knock Hill.